Hello, everyone. Ew, Tony, would you go and wash up or something? I wouldn't be surprised if even our viewers now felt your stench through their screens. You're so stubborn. I'll tell you what will happen to you if you don't shower. Spoiler alert, it's not good, Tony. Or is it? We'll find out. Let's start. Lately, people have been saying on the internet that taking showers too often can be harmful, that gels and soaps dry out your skin, and so on and so forth. Sometimes after a hard day's work, you might think, well, what if I don't shower today? It might even be good for my body. Haha, <laughs> like hell it will. The harm from skipping a shower is far greater than the harm from all the cleaning products put together. First of all, you might get pimples all over your body. Moreover, abstaining from showering for a long time can lead to painful sensations and irritation on the skin. And if you want to break all possible records for not showering, then be prepared for the terrible brown buildup of skin oils, sweat, and bacteria on your skin. You won't be able to get rid of it in a few minutes. So, the longer you don't wash, the easier it is for fungi and bacteria to multiply on your skin. Also, you should know that our body is completely covered in micro cracks, micro wounds, and numerous pores. Now add these two facts together and you get terrible infectious sores all over your body. So remember friends, if a wound on your body doesn't heal for a long time, make sure to see a doctor. Hold it right there, Tony. If you take a shower every time you get a chance, you aren't helping yourself either. It's not that simple. The fact is that not only bad bacteria, but also a lot of good bacteria that benefit our bodies live on our skin. And as we know, bad things reproduce easier. Accordingly, showering too often prevents the normal reproduction of good bacteria and leads to an increase of bad bacteria. The important thing here is to find the right balance. A shower once a day is ideal. So we have already found out that there are all kinds of bacteria on the body. And if you don't wash for a long time, they start to crawl into your skin pores and make it hard for your skin to breathe, especially when you sweat a lot. Unfortunately, it's not always possible to take a shower after you sweat. So I have a few tips. If you're wearing tight, non-breathable clothes, carry a change of clothes with you. Also, buy some wet wipes. There's nothing difficult about going into the restroom to freshen up a bit. Here's the most important argument for you, Tony, the smell. It will appear in any case, whether you sweat or not. The thing is, contrary to popular belief, sweat itself doesn't smell. Again, bacteria are to blame. They release all sorts of unnecessary and smelly substances, like you do when you sit on the toilet for hours and hours. And with every shower you skip, there's more and more bacteria on your body, which means there's more smelly secretions. And if you also sweat, you create the perfect conditions for these little buggers. In a humid and warm environment, they multiply dozens of times faster. And of course, I must say that skipping a shower will take its toll on your gorgeous hair. Although today, people are constantly arguing about how often you should wash your hair. Some say every day. Others argue that this disrupts the salt and water balance and can begin to cause problems with either oily or dry scalp. So everything depends on the person. Yeah, it's not the prettiest solution to this problem, Tony. I'm going to continue for the audience, which can control themselves better than you. Everyone can determine for themselves how often they can wash their hair without negative consequences. But let's not forget what I've said earlier. Washing too rarely also leads to the multiplication of bad bacteria and an unpleasant smell from the air. To better understand your body, we advise you to see a special hair doctor known as a trichologist. They will examine you, perhaps carry out some tests, and then tell you in detail what shampoos are better to use and how often you can wash your hair. By the way, friends, Tony and I already did a cool experiment in which he didn't wash his hair for a year. Frankly speaking, the consequences were horrible. To avoid repeating his mistakes, just watch this video. The link is right here on the screen and it's already waiting for you in the description of the video. And tell us in the comments for how long you didn't shower and how it felt. The best and funniest stories, as always, will be featured in the next video.
Subscribe and give us a like if you learned something new today. See you in the next episodes of Super Tony. Bye-bye!